Hello, in today's video we are going to talk about ATV600 functions, in particular PID controller. But before we begin, we would like to share with you what are we going to do in next several videos. So in general, it's going to be all about ATV600 functions, represented in two ways. Basic, in which we will explain functions and go through parameters and also advanced video putting parameters to a drive with some move and also doing a practical example of this particular function here on the screen you can see 10 topics which we will do and we will begin with the first one because of two reasons first it's the first one on the list and second which is more logical PID is mandatory for some other topics like sleep wake up, booster, jockey pump for example. Let's continue with PID basic. So what is PID regulator in a drive? It allows us to regulate some external process like pressure, flow, temperature etc. using a variable speed drive. So what do we have in normal on in, or let's say in average situation we have variable speed drive to which we set speed set point and the drive with its own regulators is trying to keep the set point speed on the motor if for example we put this motor to certain pump in water distribution system and we want to maintain pressure we have a motor connected to a pump and variable speed drive connected to this motor. Then we have to implement PID regulator because variable speed drive can only see speed set point or for example torque but not the pressure. So input of PID regulator is a pressure set point and output is a speed set point. Additionally we have to connect the feedback to a PID regulator which would be the pressure sensor from our water distribution system. Now let's go deeper inside PID. So we have two things on input. We have PID reference, which we have capability to ramp up and then entering the summing point together with feedback. Feedback you can scale additionally. Now the first question is how to activate PID regulator. PID regulator in the drive is automatically activated when you assign a PID feedback. One important thing to say, PID regulator inside the drive can only work with variable speed drive. Let's move on to scaling. So technically what you have to do is choose your regulation range inside your process. Usually you will have certain pressure sensor which can provide you big range but sometimes you don't need this range where you're only using partial range of regulation. After that we have error correction and the first stop of error correction is possibility to make inversion. Why would we need inversion? For example if you have some compressor which is regulating the pressure then you will not inverse error correction. But for example, if you have some cooling application where you need to increase the speed of the fan if the temperature, for example, go higher, then you need to inverse the error correction. After that, we enter sleep wake up function, which we will do in separate video. So for now, we will skip it. And finally, we are entering PID regulator. Few words about PID regulator. It's a standard proportional integration and derivation part inside PID regulator of which in majority of cases we are only using proportional and integral part of the PID. Additionally, there is a possibility to inhibit integrational part. Then output of PID regulator enters as additional summing point and we will see why. But before entering the summing point, we can set certain limits of our PID output and then additionally ramp up the PID output. 
Now, the summing point is for predictive speed, which we can scale and ramp. And why do we use this predictive speed? We use it to avoid certain instabilities in our system, especially if we have certain speed range where we can regulate and in between we don't need PID regulator to work but just to ramp up and ramp down from this range. And then output of the summing point enters the drive. Additionally we can disable or let's say make it auto manual work of our PID output. So we can have manual speed reference which enters the variable speed drive. So one important thing to say, this is not disabling the PID regulator, but this is only switching the output of PID regulator to speed set point. When you are in manual mode, PID regulator is still working. When you switch back to auto, PID regulator takes the control of the drive. Additionally, what we can do is supervise certain things inside PID regulator using a SOMOVE software or HMI on the drive. So we can supervise feedback, we can set certain limits of error or warning, and then we can supervise all other values inside PID, like error correction, output, reference, and so on. That's it for PID regulator basic intro. In next video, we will show you how to configure a drive to use a PID using SOMOVE software, and then make a practical example on our pump demo bench. Thank you and see you in next video.